Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Wine. Welcome back to art class. Today we're going to be talking about how we can create some designs with basic shapes. This is for our watercolor project inspired by the New Jersey artist Elizabeth Horowitz. So the first thing you have to decide is whether you will create a design using one shape or whether your design will use two shapes. Then, once you have made that decision, you need to figure out what basic shape will you use. Here you can see I only used rectangles. And here you can see a design that I did where I only used circles and triangles. So once you're ready, then you can get started. So the first thing you have to do is decide which tools you want to use. I've given you a lot of options at your tables. You have these plastic tools that have different shapes. You have the circle templates. If you're using circles, you could use both this and this. Any shape that's using straight lines, you could create just with a ruler or to help you and to give lots of different options. I have also created some of these different shape templates that I put down at your table. Whatever shape it is you're using, you wanna start by going ahead and getting out a variety of those different shapes so that you have them ready to go. Now, when I do my design, what I like to do to make sure that I'm filling my page is I like to start with the largest shapes first. So I think today I'm gonna to do two shapes and I think I'm gonna do rectangles and circles. So if I'm gonna use my biggest shapes first, maybe I don't want a rectangle quite this big, and this is the next biggest one I have, I might wanna start by just drawing my own rectangle. Now if I'm drawing a rectangle, one thing that can be helpful is making sure that my ruler is straight on the page, not a little bit slanted. I can do that by making sure the bottom of my ruler lines up perfectly with my page. Then I'm going to hold the ruler nice and still. Most of you are left-handed, so you're gonna hold that ruler still with your left hand. And if I'm gonna make a giant rectangle, I'm gonna come up here to the six, and I'm gonna come straight down to the bottom. Now, I'm gonna decide how wide I want that to be. Remember, I'm gonna line up the bottom of the rec of the ruler with the edge of my paper so that I know my ruler's straight, not crooked. And then I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna hold my ruler down in place so it doesn't slip. And last time I started at the six, so this time I know I'm gonna start in about that same place. Then, because this ruler comes all the way down and touches the bottom of the page, I know I should be able to come to the top. And again, I wanna make sure the top of the line isn't slanted, so I'm lining up the ruler with the edge of the page. I'm holding it steady, and then I'm going to finish off drawing my top line. So it's definitely a little trickier if I'm drawing the shape on my own. Now, I know if I'm gonna start with a giant rectangle, if I'm going to balance that, and I can't remember what I said, but now if I didn't say it, I'm gonna do rectangles and triangles. Maybe I could add a big triangle over here. I like to start with the biggest shapes, and now I can just trace one of these triangle templates that are in my bag. That's super easy. I can hold it down, and then I trace. So my first goal is really just to fill up my page. I've got a rectangle at the bottom. Maybe I can balance that by taking another big rectangle and putting it here at the top. So notice I'm not trying to overlap any shapes yet. I will get there. But for now, the only thing I'm trying to do is get some shapes on my page. And maybe I can come in with one more triangle finding another one in my bag. And here's where maybe I can start to overlap a little bit. 
Now keep in mind, my final piece is going to be a painting. So I don't want my overlap shapes to be too small. I wanna make sure that everything I'm doing is big enough that I can get a paintbrush in there. Holding my stencil nice and still. And again, I'm looking for any really big spaces that I haven't filled in yet. Maybe I could use this template and I could come over here and add another rectangle. Maybe I'll make this rectangle going horizontally, holding it down, tracing around. And I'm starting to build up some of these overlap spaces. I could come back and I could look and see what shapes I have in my triangle. Maybe I have one here. Well, I think maybe I like this one up here at the top. Maybe if this triangle is pointing that way, maybe I'll make another one pointing this way. So I'm trying to start to create a few overlap shapes, but I'm not making those shapes too horribly complicated. Maybe I could add another rectangle over here. Maybe I'll make it, I like to really pay attention to my edges. Maybe it's gonna touch this triangle and overlap that rectangle. Then I have to keep balancing. I notice I have a lot of rectangles in that area. How could I come back in and how could I add a triangle in there to help fill that space? Sometimes I like to really play around with the shapes, figure out where I can put them. So it seems like an easy task to create a design using two shapes, but I'm always sort of looking, how can I balance my shapes? How can I balance big shapes along with little shapes? Where could I put small shapes inside of big shapes? And how can I create those overlap areas in a way that makes the whole thing interesting to look at? Oh, see, I gotta be really careful. I'm not in love with this teeny tiny, that little tiny shape, but I bet when I trace that with crayon, I bet I can make that go away. So once I feel like my page is mostly full, I say I have a few more overlaps on this side than on this side. So maybe I can continue looking at ways that I can divide up those shapes. But once I feel like my page is mostly full, then it's okay to just stop with my design. You don't want to have your design too complicated because you wanna be able to draw this in about one day so that we have the rest of our time to work on the painting part of this project. I hope you have a wonderful week. I can't wait to see what shapes you choose and the design you make. And until next time, keep on creating.